major developments today in the SNC Lavalin saga. Updates coming fast and furious. Let's start with fresh comments from a person at the center of it all, former cabinet minister Jody Wilson Raybould. Were you pressured by the Prime Minister's office? Still um, working with my lawyer. How long did you wait? Wilson Raybould speaking to reporters today after she addressed a closed door cabinet meeting that went into overtime. I'm staying caucus, Ms. Wilson Raybould. I am a Liberal member of Parliament. Thank you. Are you going to run? Ethics and Conflict of Interest Commissioner. The MP for Vancouver Granville also attending question period where pressure on Justin Trudeau intensified. I'm listening really hard, but for a prime minister who claims to be innocent, my God, he's sounding guilty. Because the, the client here is the prime minister, and the question is whether he tried to strong arm his former attorney general and then had her fired because she wouldn't take a fall in one of the biggest corruption cases. So stop hiding behind the legal games. Let her speak. Mr. Speaker, unlike the member opposite who's speaking disparagably about laws and legal issues, uh, we continue to respect uh, our system of justice. We respect the independence of the judiciary. And we will always do our work that way. That is why we welcome the, you know, the news that the Ethics Commissioner is going to be looking into this matter. We will fully cooperate with them. That is something the Canadians expect as we uphold the highest standards of their faith in our institutions. Fireworks coming as MPs return to Parliament Hill after a week away, a week that saw two stunning resignations. Why did you resign? First, Wilson Raybould left her post as Veterans Affairs Minister. Then, just yesterday, Gerald Butt stepped down as Trudeau's principal secretary. The moves come nearly two weeks after a bombshell report from the Globe and Mail, citing unnamed sources, saying the Prime Minister's office pressed Wilson Raybould when she was Justice Minister and Attorney General to abandon the prosecution of SNC Lavalin on charges of fraud and bribery related to the Montreal construction and engineering giant's work in Libya. Trudeau denies his office directed her. In this house representing Opposition parties today demanding a public inquiry into the matter and are calling for Trudeau to waive solicitor-client privilege to let Wilson Raybould speak publicly. The Prime Minister and his office have engaged in an obvious cover-up. In a resignation letter, Wilson Raybould revealed she had hired a former Supreme Court justice, explaining, I'm in the process of obtaining advice on the topics I am legally permitted to discuss in this matter. And today, the House of Commons Justice Committee agreed to invite Wilson Raybould to answer questions about the SNC-Lavalin affair, but it's not clear what she'll be able to legally discuss. Let me just say about Jerry's resignation, it's obviously... A sad moment. As for Butts, Minister of Foreign Affairs Christian Freeland, among the cabinet members reacting to his resignation today. My sense is that he's decided, and I think appropriately, to defend himself against uh, you know, people saying things that just aren't true. Justin Trudeau's closest advisor wasn't named specifically in reported allegations surrounding SNC Lavalin, but he denied any wrongdoing raising questions as to why exactly he's walking away. In his resignation letter, but saying in part, any accusation that I or the staff put pressure on the Attorney General is simply not true. And he adds, my reputation is my responsibility, and that is for me to defend. But his exit comes at a critical time for the person considered as Trudeau's right-hand man, just months ahead of the federal election.